Welcome to this lesson on finding slopes of lines. We all know that two different points determine a unique line. And here's the formula for finding the slope of this line. The slope is defined to be the change in the y's over the change in the x's. Let's try a couple of examples. In example one, we'll find the slope of the line through 4 comma 3 and negative 3 comma negative 1. The slope is the change in the y's over the change in the x's. So let's go. We get change in the y's. Negative 1 minus a 3. Change in the x's. x2 minus x1. Minus 3 minus a 4. We get negative 4 divided by negative 7, which is 4 over 7. It doesn't matter which point we start with. So if we start with the other point, we'll have 3 minus a minus 1 divided by a 4 minus a minus 3. And right away, that gives us 4 over 7. Same result. Let's sketch this line and look at it. This is typical of a line with positive slope. As we move in the positive x direction, the y values are increasing. The line is rising. In the next example, we'll see a line with a negative slope. Instead of rising, the line will be falling. We'll find the slope of the line through negative 1 comma 3 and 2 comma negative 3. The slope m is the change in the y's negative 3 minus a 3 divided by the change in the x's. Remember to start with the same point. So 2 minus a minus 1. We get negative 6 divided by 3. The answer is negative 2. Here's a picture of that line whose slope is negative 2. We see that as we move in the positive x direction, the y values are decreasing. The line is falling. Here's the slope formula again. Note that we have two special cases. Case 1 is when the line is horizontal. On a horizontal line, every point has the same y coordinate. So the numerator, the change in y, is going to be 0. And that means the slope of a horizontal line is always 0. The other special case is when we have a vertical line. In this case, every point on this line has the same x coordinate. So the x2 minus x1 is going to be 0. Because we cannot divide by 0, a vertical line has no slope, meaning it is undefined. I'm going to have a separate tutorial explaining the idea of slope. So make sure you watch that one, okay? I'll see you then. Bye.